Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Bit Eric. We're going to check out this game called What Comes After on the Nintendo Switch. Seems interesting enough, so let's see what it is all about. Honestly, has like a weird looking graphical, like hand drawn, cartoony style. So I was like, alright, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. So wait. Oh, look at this. Alright. So I have a feeling this is a little bit of a visual novel. We'll just play briefly, play for a little bit. Nothing too, uh... Alright, so here we go. Made it right on time. Look at these drawings. They look like Funko Pops. <laughs> huh, the last train. It's not that crowded in here. I might be able to find a seat today. All right, oh, okay. Hold B to walk faster. Can I... This is cute. I like how she's like shuffle walking. <laughs> this reminds me of when I was in Los Angeles and I was uh, riding the subway everywhere. Subway is such an interesting thing. And I just noticed everybody in this game is wearing masks. I didn't even like comprehend that. It tells you how much time's changed. So, alright. Shouldn't think about it too much. Yeah, I should. Sleep. Sleepy, sleepy. Now what's going on? Ah, oh, creepy cat. There's always got to be a pair, like like a weird, a weird, par like paranormal. <laughs> I swear to God, like there's always got to be something scary and paranormal about everything. Take a deep breath, okay? I'm just locked up. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to. Oh, I'm in a scary What the hell? Why is the train moving? What's happening? Ugh. Relax, VV, relax. I mean if a cat was here, assume it's a pretty safe place, right? Let's not overthink things. Should be able to find the driver here. Hmm, driver. Is that how you call someone who controls the train? Are they driving the train? Wait, focus, VV. Focus. VV's adorable. I gotta tell you this much. Oh, we got some ghosts. Uh, wow. Like, <laughs> what are these people? Are they are they who I think they are? Wait, does it mean I have died? That's this. This doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it didn't hurt, or did I just forget about the pain? Anyway, this is really the afterlife. I can consider myself lucky. I didn't feel pain. It cost me nothing. And I've been considering it for a while anyway. Wow. So she's... She's been wanting to die? Mom will be sad. Oh no. I don't want that. And if... And if... And if I died inside the train, then the cleaning guy would need to handle my dead body. He'll have a bad day because of me. Then, then, whoever sat next to me on the train would find the entire experience traumatic. Someone died next to him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You hear that song on TikTok all the time, guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Lady looks like someone who works here, but she knows where this train is heading. Hello, ma'am. Excuse me. One by one, please. Your turn will. Oh, not this again. Another living on board. What are you doing here, kid? I actually, I don't know why I'm here. You what? Oh, the humans failed to do their job again. I have but one request. One, for them to make sure the train is empty at night. Wait. Maybe it's not the humans. Maybe it's them. But why? What are they trying to achieve? Uh, Ma'am, excuse me? Can you tell me where this train's heading? Well, as you can see around you, dead people board this train. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. To be precise, this train is boarded with beings who have died in the proximity of 10 kilometers from the station today. But where are they going? To what comes after, of course. Ah, the title of the game. What comes after? Yes, what comes after? No more explanation for the living. Am I going there too? Of course not. I will never allow that. The living should never cross when it's not their time. I think I saw a cat just now. The cat just walked past. Honey, she's also dead. So far, you're the only not dead creature here. Then what should I do? 
Back to Levin, of course. I can do that? Yeah, we'll take you back. Really? Thank you so much. But I can't simply ask the train to return now. So you have to wait until tonight's group reach their destination. And then we'll go back to the station together. That doesn't sound too bad. How long will it take? Don't worry. We'll finish the trip before the morning comes. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Beats me. You just wait in the car you came from or, you know, walk around. Try to get to know the folks around here. They always have some stories to tell. And maybe, just maybe, you can help them with something. Or they can help you with something. Alright, so. Alright. Skip the dialogue. Just return to the car I woke up in and wait, or should I walk around? Alright. Um. Nice. Alright, um, definitely a lot of reading. <laughs> so it is kind of a, a visual novel in a sense. Go walk around, I'm busy. Okay, I'm walking around. So close to promotion, work has been going well. Cute guy from accounting has been responding to my advances too. Why now all the, are you okay? I will be. For now, please leave me alone. I want to grieve the loss of my fleeting youth. It's a... Uh, really don't want to talk to everybody I just want to see what I can do or where I'm going huh this part of the train looks different it's a dining car I don't think dining car exists on the local commuter it's a logic and city transportation plan applied here so I'm in the dining car no one's at the bar well it's a death train anyway who would need food and drink here Oh, a baby. Aw. I'm not prepared for this. Hello, miss. Oh my god, sweetie. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for, miss? You did nothing wrong. You're so young. I noticed that too. There's nothing I can do about it anyway. But how can you speak normally like adults? Miss, you're inside a train that takes people to the afterlife. And the thing you wondered about was how I could talk to you? Adults are weird. You're right. Still feels weird, though. Don't worry. You will be surprised by how well you can understand what everyone says on this train, but you might, might not understand what they mean. Okay, you talk with the other passengers here? I did. Some of them have the same reaction as you had. No surprises there. Death comes to everyone. Why would they be surprised? That's deep for a baby. Miss, don't underestimate babies. Yeah, don't underestimate babies, guys. All right. All right, here we go. Lots of talking. I get tired of reading narration in games. You know what I mean? Like, does that happen to any of you guys? Do you feel sad about the people you left behind? Me? Maybe. I haven't really got the chance to know them, so it's hard to know for sure. Besides, judging from some of the passengers here, this world doesn't seem like a pretty nice place to live. Guess you dodged a bullet here. That's not a nice thing to say. Don't tell me. Did you die because of a shooting? No. <laughs> Shouldn't make any death-related pun here. Did you find life to be difficult, miss? Me? I don't know. I guess, yeah. It's not easy, but that was on me. It's my fault that my life is hard. Why is that? What do you mean? Why do you think it's your fault? I don't know. Oh, I know. Somebody must have told you that, and you can't stop thinking about it. So you can tell this game is going to be a pretty trippy experience with the afterlife and, and things like that lots of talking lots of narration like look how long this combo is going i would sit here for another 10 minutes reading this combo for you guys when y'all could just play it and uh check it out i mean look at this i get it <laughs> So yeah, something like this is not as enjoyable to watch somebody play. Visual novels like this are stuff that is more for you to experience. 
Like now you can see there's animals, things like that. But we'd end up being here for an hour if I was to go through the entire opening part of this game. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the opening minutes of it so you guys could see what you would want to do with this game. Maybe this might be something that you're interested in if you like playing games that deal with the afterlife and stuff. Maybe, you know, reading a little bit of narration, things like that. Uh, to me, it's not as enjoyable doing it as a Let's Play. So, unfortunately, I don't have time to do a full review of this game. But I do like the graphical art style. I like the atmosphere. I can tell this is probably going to have a good emotional story and journey behind it. Um... But yeah, we're already 11 minutes in and it's basically just been all talking. Not much in way of anything. You can see these animals and stuff like that. I'm sure it picks up. I mean, like, look at this. Definitely seems like it does pick up a bit. So, take a look at that. <laughs> Some weird stuff. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully, you know... This might be something worth checking into, but I don't want to bore you guys playing a visual novel. Going in, I went blind into this, so I didn't know it was a visual novel at all. But I could see maybe it would be an interesting experience if this is your cup of tea. Plus, my neighbors fucking mow in their yard. They, they mow their yard like five days a week. And so, I'll just go ahead and end it. Eh, seems interesting enough, guys. I don't know. I, I'm getting kind of tired of playing visual novels. Um... You know, you're just sitting here reading, literally tapping A, exploring. This would be something that you guys might want to explore for yourselves. I, I really am not into it. Uh, the time for another one, at least in the Let's Play, and I can't really properly review this. But I just wanted to share it. Y'all guys have a good one.